Hi, I'm Caitlin Burke with the Light Architect team. Today I'm going to show you how to install the app, get logged in, and start using sports lighting. So if you go into the App Store, you should be able to search for Light Architect and select the app with this icon and install it. Once you have it installed, we'll go back to the main screen and open it up. You'll be prompted to create an account to access sports lighting. So if you press get a free pro account down here in the bottom right corner, it'll open up a menu for you to enter your email and your password. Once you've done that, it will send you a verification code to your email that you enter in. Uh, we'll go back to the main menu and I'll log in. Once you log in, you'll be shown two different options. Use satellite view and use MySpace. Use MySpace is the original version of our app that uses augmented reality with your camera to overlay fixtures, but today we're going to show the satellite view. So you'll click new to start a new project. It'll autofill a title for you so you can rename it if you want or you can just get started. From here you need to zoom into a location or you can use this search bar up here in the top right to search for a location. So we're going to go to the high school near me because it has a few different sports fields that are good for demonstration. From here, once you've zoomed in enough, this add fixture button in the bottom left should be enabled. So if you click that, it'll open up the catalog. If we go over to Ephesus on the far end over here, you'll see that you have a few different sports field options as well as just a plain Luma Sport 8. All right, we'll first get started by adding a football field. So let's select football and it'll add this football shape to the field and you can click on it and drag it around to position it and we'll overlay it on the field here. And then you'll see you have this rotate button at the bottom. So if we select that, you get a slider that you can use to align the football field with the one on the screen. We'll press apply to save it. And line it up. Now that look, it looks like it matches pretty well. For other field sizes, like baseball fields that come in a number of different field sizes, you can configure it more, uh, customize the size. So we'll go in and add a baseball field. Go back to the Ephesus category and select baseball. And we'll rotate this again using this button at the bottom. Now that looks like it matches up pretty well with the size of this baseball field. But if it was bigger, we could press this edit button at the bottom right down here. And you'd get an option to change the foot candle levels that you're looking for. You can go down and change the field size. And you can see on the screen here that that field is scaling as I select these different field sizes. And then you can press apply changes. Now to get photometric results, we press this calculate button at the bottom here. And you can see the foot candle values. across this field. All right, if you wanted to add individual poles, you could also go into the fixture menu and we'll try and add just like a Luma Sport. This will add an individual Luma Sport fixture on a pole. So if you wanted to maybe do parking lot lighting, you could go into the Streetworks catalog and select another fixture. Uh, you can change the rotation on this fixture. You can change the height and you can create copies of it. And then we could do a combined photometric calculation that includes both of these fields as well as these poles over here. So if you want to share these results, you can press this share button down here at the bottom. And it will open up a couple different options. You could save the file to your device or you can send it as an email. This will create um, an email with a description of the fixtures that you added. It'll include, include a screenshot and then it will also include a PDF. And I can save this PDF so that we can show it. So we'll go to save to files. I'll go open that up. So this PDF will include the location. It'll include the type of fixtures that you added, uh, the football fields and the design name, and then a list of all of the fixtures and how they're positioned, as well as the screenshot of the design that we created. Thank you for joining us for this tutorial. If you have any questions, please reach out to your regional Ephesus representative. If you have any issues with the app, please email arsupport at cooperlighting.com.